Hello Team Leo, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and you're safe wherever you are on planet Earth. And I want to thank you all for your love and support with me and this channel. It's greatly appreciated. So for those of you who are new, I might extend this video, okay? So if Spirit guides me to do so, the link will be down below under the description the description box okay in the description box down below okay Leo's and anything else um, this is a timeless reading so you're meant to hear this whenever you're meant to hear it and also you're on different timelines so this will not resonate with every Leo on planet Earth okay keep that in mind so Leo what I'm seeing here is that I feel somebody pulled their energy back from you they could have left okay um, you're at this point where spirit is saying healing is definitely necessary, okay? So some of you are going back and forth on how, what to do about this. There's, the, there's a lot of mixed emotions inside of you. And what spirit is saying here is that you, your heart really needs deep emotional healing, okay? Um, and it has to do with past experiences and it's asking you to devote the time okay because right now during this experience it feels very heavy because there's something about you learning a life lesson okay so maybe it's with this person you keep repeating the same thing over and over like some type of a dynamic is what i'm hearing from spirit so this says you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessings they contain. So definitely spirit is with you now. They want to help you through this, Leo. And some of you just have a broken heart. Some of you, and I'm sorry, um, some of you are very disappointed when it comes to this connection and where it's going because you feel over and over. I feel like some of you are with this person over and over again. It's like you separate then you get back you separate you get back and that's why your emotions are all over the place and um what i'm seeing here is that the divine really supports you okay and they are really supporting you right now they're asking you to give it to god universe whatever you believe in take a deep breath and on the exhale release the situation to god for healing and answers so work with spirit whoever you believe in, okay, because there's definitely a um, positive shift in your flow of divine support. So whatever's happening now, Leo, Spirit is saying it's supposed to happen because it's supposed to push you to healing and learn the lesson of this connection, okay? So some of you, it could be very heavy because what I'm seeing here is that your person here, is not revealing their true self to you, okay? They could be hiding behind a mask. They could be um, hiding behind the control they take of this connection. So I don't know what dynamics are in your connection, guys, but this person has been controlling it, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, Leo, okay? And it's like, it's not about like so much who controls it, but I feel that this person here is not being their authentic self to you, okay? Whatever that is. This has a lot to do with insecurities. This has a lot to do with fears, okay, of showing the real person, okay? So for some of you, I do feel like this person could be wearing a false mask in this connection. So let's get into your person's energy, For Leo. Yeah, back and forth. Very back and forth energy. This person is very back and forth, on and off, Leo. Um, it's messing with your emotions, okay? I feel you. Like, is it on? Is it off? Are you coming in or are you leaving? Like, what is it? I'm getting into your energy. I'm sorry, you sound so angry, Leo. Okay, let's see. Okay, Spirit, Leo's person, what do we need to know? What does Leo need to know? 
for their highest and best when it comes to this person. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh man. Okay. Okay, guys. So what I'm seeing here after some kind of an argument, a fight, this is basically ego. Like I said, your person has a lot of insecurities. They're operating from the ego. And I feel that after this, like this person just cut off communication. I just heard ghosting. Maybe you just got ghosted for some of you. But this person just wants to be free okay so I feel that this person at this time is just focusing on themselves they're not focusing on this connection it's like they checked out is what I'm just hearing and this has a lot to do with the way you both communicate together and I also feel that this person has some sort of selfishness to them okay they're being selfish right now doesn't mean your person is always selfish. I just feel selfishness from this person. I feel that this has become a burden to them. And it's kind of like a missed opportunity, but I do see stuckness. And I see it's because this person is stuck too. But here's what's happening here. Because this person is stuck, Leo, and they're insecure, okay? They have a lot of insecurities and fears when it comes to this connection or just an emotional connection okay this person is is kind of like in uh, what's the word for it they're in spite like they're doing all these things in spite of you okay so that's not a cool um, vibe to be in I feel like this person it's like they know that they know what to do to make it better, but I feel like they don't. And it's because they're so far off in the ego that it's like, it's hard for them, you know? Um, yeah. So I feel that in the past, your person had a lot of their guards up when it comes to this. Like I said, they're not revealing their true self here. And even though now it's like they might have they might have you know pulled their guards down slowly to you i feel like they're still not giving all the all of the like the how should i say this they're not giving you your their attention freely their love freely it's like something is always holding this person back it's like they were in fight, what is it called? Flight, fight mode. Um, the last time you both spoke. And some of you, this person did something and then it's like they did something and then just took off or something. I don't know how to describe this. Okay. But this person definitely, I feel that they're just being unkind, okay? I feel that this person is not, they don't think that, you know, they haven't thought, okay? Because this is going to be past, present, future. But this is about someone. We'll see it further, but we'll see it further. But this person is not, doesn't think, oh, that makes sense. Okay, Spirit is saying this person is definitely in lower energies, and the ego so they don't think they owe you an apology because they're not even focusing on their emotions right now they are only swords here um and wands here so they're not thinking about their emotions i feel like this person emotionally checked out of this connection is what i just heard okay okay so let's see so this is your energy, Leo, 
What do we need to know, Spirit? What does Leo need to know? Our energy is Saturday. Yet. Okay. Wow. Okay. One more. Okay. So, guys, I feel that this could have been a series of text messages or messages going back and forth for some of you. And that's what it's like. It got crazy is what I just heard for some of you. And now you're like, you could have been really wanting to manifest this person. You could have been really praying that you both come together and whatnot. And I feel like a lot of you are having second doubts about this person now. So a lot of you are, you, or you change your mind. You're like, why was I even manifesting this person? Okay. Some of you could have manifested this person to return to you, but they didn't return to you in the way you want it. Okay. I'm being nice here. And because, because you know that this person is your soulmate. Okay. But the, let me just say something. Soulmates, you can have many soulmates, okay? So some of you were really hung up on the fact that this person is your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever it is, right? Whatever soul connection you have from this person. So it's like you were waiting for this person to return and for you both to have a reconciliation. And then when they came, it was just like, okay, we're going through the same crap over again. Like, it's the same crap. Nothing has changed. You have not changed. Like, I'm hearing this, like, very disappointed energies here, okay? You feel very disappointed. I mean, there's such a attraction you have toward this person, okay? And some of you, it's hard for you to let that past go. Hard for you to let those good memories go because... This person has not showed up the way you want them to, okay? They keep showing up in the wrong way is what I just heard. So now you've lost hope. You've lost hope, okay? You lost hope. You're not even waiting for them to come back. Like, you don't expect it anymore, okay? You had this, like, expectation. Like I said, this person's going to come back. They're going to come back the right way. And they did come back. But they came back in not the way you wanted. And now you know that this is a fleeting energy. I think some of you are really accepting now that the connection this person gave you, it's not stable. Like now you're, you're facing the truth where it's like, Maybe we're never going to be stable. Maybe this is just an in and out connection. It's supposed to be this way. But spirit is asking you, for those of you who have those thoughts running through your head, what are you learning right now? What are you learning from the dynamics of this connection? And why were you allowing them to do that if that's not what you want? Okay. So I do also feel that some of you have been manipulated by this person when it comes to like how things go. Like I said, this person does have control issues like my way or the highway. And some of you are realizing that like, why am I going with this person's flow? Especially because they're being selfish. They're being, you know, in the ego. Look, I'm not saying this, that your person's a bad person, Leo. But this person definitely is operating in the ego and lower energies, okay? What do they want from Leo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. The thing is, is that your person... I feel keeps repeating the same mistake over and over, like the same type of behavior. And then they pull back and then they go into like, I regret what I did. Uh, like, why did I do that? Why did I say that? 
And it's after like they go through this ego trip. Like your person has a lot of ego trips is what I just heard. So the thing here is that this person definitely just wants to be happy, but they're more depressed. And every time they do this to you, they, this is how they feel. It's very interesting. And that's what happens when you're in the ego, okay? Spirit's saying here, that's what happens when you're in the ego. You do something to someone when you're operating to the ego. You say things to someone when you're operating through the ego. You think you're cool. You leave. And then next thing you know, like you're, you're basically um, avoiding your emotions when it comes to this. All you're using is your sword's energy maybe like words or, you know, I'm going to do this to you. I did this to you. They think they're going to feel better, but then they feel like crap. They feel like they're the one left out in the cold by what they do to you. I feel like this person also, for some of you, they have a depression issue. Because I, I keep hearing, I just want to be happy. They don't know what makes them happy. That's the problem, is what Spirit is saying. This person doesn't know what makes them happy, okay? And there are people like that, okay? You ask them, like, what would make you happy right now? And they're like, I don't know. So you have someone that definitely has some identity issues, okay? Of who they really are. Maybe they don't even know, okay? And they also have control issues, which is ego. And that has a lot to do with fears. But this person here, I feel like they do have a very hard time with commitment for whatever reason. It could be past. It could be the way they grew up. It could be a myriad of things. But this person definitely, I feel, is like when they think of structure or when they think of marriage, it's a big deal for them. Like they go into fear mode. Okay. So maybe this happens every time you bring something up, Leo, like, uh, you know, maybe commitment you've brought up. Yeah. Look at that. So it's kind of like, you feel like you can't even talk to this person. Oh my God. What is going on? So let me see further. I'm, not, I'm going to extend this spirit. Okay, they said no. Okay. They said no. I'm not going to extend this. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, okay, I'm just going to go into spiritual message. I'm not going to extend this, Leo, but spirit is saying here, this person needs to make a decision, okay? And you have to go with whatever decision they make. You can't try to convince this person otherwise. And I feel like they've already made their decision for some of you, okay? This is not a personal reading. If you want a personal, you can book that with me. It's down below. But this person here, I do know that definitely there is love shared between you two. They know, okay? But I feel that there's definitely a problem with this person and keeping it casual or committing. There's definitely, like... You have like a commitment phobe here, is what I just heard. Yeah. Look at this. This is how they feel every time they think of commitment or taking it to the next level. I feel like this person just wants things to be casual between you two. Even if they love you, it doesn't matter, okay? Spirit keeps saying, just because someone doesn't want a commitment doesn't mean that they don't love you, okay? So those of you who know, yeah, my person loves me. Don't think they don't, okay? Nobody can, like, it doesn't happen that way. I feel that a lot of you um, know your person really has deep feelings for you. You've shared a lot of, you know, love together, okay? But 
Leo, this person is a commitment folk. Spirit keeps saying that. So they've already, for some of you, they already made this decision. Like, I don't want this. Okay? Like, maybe they're not your emperor, you know? Maybe they're not the emperor you're supposed to be with. That's what I'm seeing now. And your energies can change. But for now, this this might, you know, pan out for the next until fall. I don't see, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm not going to get into further because this is a general reading. But I hope that this has helped you. If it has, don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe if you already have not. Um... I'd appreciate it, and if you like my vi vibe and style of reading, definitely subscribe and turn on all notifications. Hit that bell. I wish you all the best, Leo. Take good care, and blessings to you.